Commander Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency has been to space three times. He spent just under six months in orbit, five months in one go, and he's clocked up 15 hours of spacewalks in his spacesuit. And we, Blue Peter, have come to meet the man himself and ask all of your questions. Ah, okay, we're not in space as such. We're, um, we're in the Royal Observatory Edinburgh, actually, but we are going to answer your questions. Well, Commander Hadfield, it's an absolute pleasure and privilege to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for Reggie. It's really nice to see you. So once we told the Blue Peter viewers that we're going to be meeting you and they could ask you questions, we got hundreds in. Can we ask you a few of them now? I'll do my best, sure. Go ahead. We've got one from Starstone Breezy Banana who says, How does it feel in space? Did you ever feel claustrophobic in your spacesuit? And did the helmet ever get annoying? <laughs> when you're outside in a spacesuit, I think it, it's probably one of the weirdest feelings in the world because you might feel claustrophobic because you're inside your suit, so you feel like you're all closed in, but when you look through the visor, you are out in the universe, so you might feel the opposite of claustrophobic, which is agoraphobic, being afraid of wide open spaces. And I think it's possible maybe to feel claustrophobic, afraid of a small space, and agoraphobic, afraid of a big space, all at the same time. Emerald Trombone Pelican says, what is it like in space? And if you burp, <laughs> does it mess up your helmet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in space, it's, it's sort of like magic because you're floating and flying the whole time. It's like, uh, like you have a superpower where you can fly. And, uh, but one of the downsides is burping because <laughs> if you think about how burping works, the gas is at the top of your stomach and the, the liquid and the solid, the food and, and drink is at the bottom of your stomach. And when you burp, you're just getting the gas off the top of your stomach. Well, if there's no gravity, then the gas doesn't float to the top and the heavy stuff doesn't go to the bottom. So it's all mixed. So if you try and burp in space, you'll actually throw up every time. Oh, wow, I didn't know that at all. Salmon Party Dolphin says, do you have a bedroom in a rocket? And is there a comfy bed? <laughs> Without gravity, you never lie down. In fact, there's no down. So instead, we have a sleeping bag that is just tied to the wall with a shoelace. And when it's bedtime, we put on pajamas, and then you sort of float down into the bag, into the sleeping bag, and it's got armholes in it. And now you're sort of just barely tethered to the wall with a string, sort of like a balloon on a string. And you can relax every muscle in your body. You close the little door of your booth that you're sleeping in, and you don't need a pillow, yeah, you don't need to roll over, just everything is perfectly relaxed. It's, it's the best sleep of your whole life. I'd like to do that, actually. <laughs> White Pancake Mango says, you are my inspiration. Did you always want to be an astronaut? And if you weren't an astronaut, what would you be? I think it's important for people to remember that you're gonna grow up to be something, whether you choose it or not. You're gonna grow up to be something. And I decided when I was nine years old, that I wanted to be an astronaut. So I started turning myself into one. All the little decisions, what book am I going to read, what, what television show will I watch. I just sort of always thinking, you know, someday maybe I'll be an astronaut, so I should know more about this, more about telescopes, more about all sorts of things. So I learned to be a scuba diver. I learned to be a pilot. I learned to be an engineer at university. I uh, learned to speak other languages. I, I tried to do a lot of things that were fun and interesting and then maybe someday I'd also get to be an astronaut. Silver Tornado Pelican asks, who inspired you? I find myself inspired by just about everybody that I talk to. You know lots of things that I don't know. You've been places I've never been. You can even talk to someone far younger than you and, and learn things from them. So it, it's kind of a nice way to go through life. Be inspired by everybody that you meet. Well, it's been an absolute inspiration talking to you. You've done some incredible things in your life, but have you got yourself a Blue Peter badge? I don't. Well, it is my honor to present it to you. It is more than well-deserved. Well, thank you very much, Radzi. That's really nice to have. Um, I'll just keep this floating around in case we need it. <laughs>